<coughs> so let's start with the second part of the BigQuery. So let's try to understand how to start the with BigQuery. So the, there are some steps. Let's follow them one by one. First, sign in the in with the Google Cloud console is go to the Google Cloud console at this URL that is HTTP console dot cloud dot Google dot com and sign in with your Google account. Then create a Google Cloud project with a cloud Google Cloud console console. Click on the project drop down and select new project. These are all self explanatory so I need not explain it. Give your project a unique name and click on the create. Enable the BigQuery API in the Google Cloud console. Navigate to API and services library and left side menu and search BigQuery API and after searching click on it. Click on the to enable a button to enable the BigQuery API for your project. The next is create a data set which is important. Click on the navigation menu. BigQuery in the cloud, in the Google Cloud console, in the BigQuery web UI, click on the your project and name and select create data set. Enter the data set name, choose a location and click on the okay, create data set. Now then create a table, that is the next step. In the BigQuery web UI, click on the your data set name and select create table. Choose the option to create a table manually. Enter a table name, define the schema, column, column name and data types and click on the create table. Load data into the table. In the BigQuery web UI, click on your data set name of the select name and select the table you created. Click on the create table again but this time choose the option to create a table by uploading data. Select the file source for example CSV, JSON, Avro. Whatever name the secondary secondary name of the file that you can choose from and then upload your data accordingly. Define the schema if needed and click on the create table. Then next is run queries and analyze your data. In the BigQuery web UI, click on the compose query to open the query editor. Write SQL that is a structured query language queries to analyze your data. For example, you can use the select statement to retrieve data from your table. Click on the run to execute the query and see the results. Then next is export query results. After running a query, you can export the query results to various formats such as CSV, JSON or Avro. Click on the save results, export results to export the query results and then the step 9 is monitor and optimize performance. In the BigQuery web UI, you can view uh, the query history and monitor query performance. To optimize performance, consider partitioning large data tables, clustering data or using cached results for frequently run queries. So the big the benefits of using BigQuery with Google Analytics data. Now importing Google Analytics data into BigQuery. The BigQuery is perhaps the most empowering platform in all the web analytics. It combines what analysts know and love about Google Analytics with the power of flexibility of a streaming event-based analytics platform. Think tool like Snowfall Plow, Heap, etc. All Google Analytics accounts using the latest property type can now integrate natively with BigQuery. This is the big deal as the connectivity was previously only available to enterprise accounts. Data teams get the tried and true Google Analytics data model with the ability to break it down to the atomic level and build something new with only a little bit of a SQL knowledge. The good analytics, Google Analytics to be BigQuery integration serves three primary purposes. Number one, querying raw Google Analytics data. Second, connecting with other first party data. Third, exporting data for visualization. Now each capability built 
of the last and each uh, feature further extends all the google analytics can do so connecting with additional data sources that is also possible with the bigquery so google analytics data is just a portion of the digital marketing ecosystem because bigquery is a fully fresh full fledged data warehouse organizations can store data from their crm commerce platform display and video 360 google ads third party advertising platform facebook youtube and more this unlocks the ability to perform powerful analysis and predictive analysis across business data crm data joins joining crm data to google analytics is probably the most common use case for bringing data into bigquery analysts can configure their website to pass in the google analytics client id that is cid into their crm when a customer record is created the identifier is unique to every visitor on a website once the client id is in is in crm it can be exported into bigquery the client id can be used uh, as the key from open data source to the other the result is customer information alongside web analytics and marketing data in bigquery this is all so important because the bigquery allows analysts to import server personally identifiable information pii into bigquery which is not possible in the google analytics interface you want to understand how top customers first found your organization's website once data sets have been integrated analysts can write a bigquery to generate report of which marketing sources produce which customers combining data from a crm which is the behavioral and acquisition information from google analytics this will also help teams get a better sense of true customer lifetime value clv etc export bigquery data to your organization system of choice perhaps more commonly organizations can export data from bigquery to another system bigquery has its own api which helps explain this process with the aforementioned client id import we can send data from bigquery into any data warehouse that will accept a csv import for example we might want to summarize web's behavior for each customer in salesforce we could easily obtain the original source medium information from bigquery and export it to salesforce beyond just the raw data bringing in external data can help with one of the most valuable uses of a bigquery audience generation following a detailed data science project we might identify an audience as persona in bigquery that we would like to pursue connect with external data to to either give teams more info to help with creating audience segments or to help us take those audiences that activate outside the bigquery querying raw data bigquery is a database hosted in the cloud once connected to google analytics analytics data is exported to hit by hit into bigquery for querying just like an sql database the data that comes into bigquery is raw hit level data by comparison inside the google analytics interface the data analysts are working with the session based and aggregated that's fine for tracking simple marketing questions for example in google analytics it's easy to count the number of sessions that come from the mobile device device but to count the number of video plays events by a particular user across multiple sessions would be much more difficult to answer the google analytics interface is it relatively easy to use and has a number of tools to make it 
easy to perform on the fly or analysis. In order to keep the interface as fast as possible, there are certain limitations in the ways analysts access data and how much the interface can be customized. This is where the BigQuery shines. Analysts are using the same underlying data as Google Analytics, but don't have the same limitation. Our team has compiled several sample BigQuery data queries for companies to experiment within our uh, comp uh, comprehensive guide to query Google Analytics for properties for Firebase data in BigQuery. Let's look at some of the basic limitations that BigQuery helps organization overcome. Focusing on users instead of sessions. In the Google Analytics inter interface, goals and goal funnels are session based. That means if a person takes multiple visits to a complete a task, as Google Analytics 4 and other event based analytics tools downplay the concept of a session to show different views of attribution, it's important to know BigQuery has always given us the ability to analyze at the user level. The power of SQL allows us to attribute actions to and duration ranging from one hit prior to the conversion to as far back as our historical data goes. This also has a big impact on commerce focus, focused companies. If analysts use the enhanced e-commerce reports inside Google Analytics interface, they know that those reports are session based. But in many real world scenarios, a person might add an item to their cart in one visit and wait to complete the purchase in another visit. BigQuery allows team to see purchasing behavior from users to who take more than one session to pull the trigger. The best part is their limitless uh, look back windows and aggregations apply to all scopes and fields. So they even able to create a, of a user based segments without Plesky 90 days limited book back window applied to the GA interface. Combining dimensions, the word limitless also applies to the number of dimensions and metrics in a single query. While dealing with the database tables in an enterprise data storage platforms like BigQuery, teams can query as many columns as they would build like to. That means there is no need to worry about interface limits like two dimensions in a standard report or five dimensions in a custom. If your team wants 35 dimensions in a report, you got them. Analysts can also combine scopes that are difficult to analyze in the interface. E-commerce data, for example, can be combined with user level data to, be, to see product interactions by user types. This ability to mix any dimension and scope only comes with one warning that is check your work. Breaking down the GA, that is Google Analytics data model, means building it back up, better backup can. Introduce errors or miscalculations or mean that the matrix now have a different definition that was what is calculated in the standard data but data model. You may find this later case to be benefit. You would much rather have confidence in how I calculate a value than guess how some prescriptive data model calculates it. Just make sure to understand if, if the matrix are different and if so, why they are different. Another important point is that Google Analytics has a very specific way that it processes data and configuration settings like goals and filters. As data is collected from a company's site or an app, GA will apply these those settings and store the finished altered data to be used in reports later on. Because of this, it's not possible to go backwards and change data in a Google Analytics account. However, with BigQuery, teams can essentially rewrite history. 
if an analyst team made a tracking error in the past and they would like to filter out if or modify data page paths events entire sessions they can be dynamically adjust queries in bigquery to account for those issues using bigquery data with google marketing platform at the same time we might choose to see these audiences back inside the google analytics interface the, the easy way to do the uh, this would be approximate the characteristic we are looking for creating a segment that closely matches or mimics or big query audiences that we created there are some more complex ways to do this as well for example using the measurement protocol for data import to send these clients id back into the google analytics and define an audience once an audience has been built inside or imported to google analytics teams can produce can conduct advanced reporting in the interface or use the audience of remarketing in a platform like display and video 360 and with the optimized 360 another tremendously powerful google analytics 360 suit product teams can actually target these audiences for ab testing and personalized offers and appear experiences on an organization's website bigquery use cases bounteous has been using bigquery for client data project for years here are few sample use cases when partnering with dominos pizza for canada we imported customer loyalty and purchase data from offline sources and merged with the google analytics in bigquery when developed purchase cost propensity model uh, models to score audiences for marketing campaigns driving revenue increases with the leading hotels of the in the world we used bigquery to develop statistical models to understand which travel amenities customers may be interested in to deliver more personalized looking experiences for pbs we need to solution to analyze a lot of google analytics data more than 330 million sessions 800 million page views and 17.5 million video episodes plays per year big query enabled our team to develop machine learning models that analyzed user trends and created audience clusters to inform new content decisions exporting data for this data visualization now big query also has a native integrations with the most popular bi tools this means you can connect tables to data studio looker power bi tableau and other visualization tools like a few in a few clicks along with the simplicity comes the values of unified reporting if we are joining various data sources to enrich the view of our marketing programs we can use these sources to drive more intelligent reporting many organization is still rely on dashboards where data from one source merely sit next to data from another big source big query gives us the power of to join web analytics you add add channel spends and crm metrics in one table another lightning fast night on metrics like cost per qualified lead or overall campaign roi big query cost value and impact there is no direct cost for connecting google analytics 360 to big query when an organization starts with google analytics 360 you may import the last 13 months or 10 billion hits whichever is smaller of google analytics data into big query so that teams can start writing advanced queries for one year on year over basis reports immediately cost in big query can be concerned for organizations venturing into data warehousing for the first time but it's important to note that big query is designed as a managed serverless data warehouse that means teams pay only for the data and features they use when they use them those costs 
generally come into two categories charges for storing data and charges for querying data storage storage costs are pennies per gigabyte to put uh, that in perspective in a website a roughly 10 million hits per month may see a monthly charge of 3 dollars to store one years of worth of data well worth the value of hit level analysis querying querying costs are also relatively trivial for most average users user pay per per terabyte of data queried from the database most organizations don't use more than a terabyte of processing in one month Keep, keeping queries cost in the single digits for many organization using big query that ends up totaling it to cost well under 100 dollar per month and that includes storing years worth of data from multiple sources driving rich reporting in connected bi tools the terms managed and serverless also create value for beyond cost implications big query will scale to meet your organization's needs churning through terabytes of of data in seconds with no need to worry about instances clusters or virtual machines it just happens managed there's also no need to worry about securing server space or some catastrophic database failure serverless this results in serious time saving but it has been discovered that it also empowers a whole new class of analyst to use data in a big query to discover critical insights a lower barrier of any means of entry means teams don't need to be skilled database admins to drive real results they just needed to know a little sql thank you